Hi conservation crew and welcome to another Nature Diaries. If you're new here my name's Laura and I typically post videos about nature, wildlife, animal conservation and all things sustainable. Today we are exploring a beautiful new place called Bystock Pools which is in East Devon and it's already looking so beautiful especially of all the autumn colours. Got my scarf on, my coat we're going to take a nice and leisurely stroll around this beautiful park. First impressions of this place are 10 out of 10. It is absolutely beautiful. started to rain so my hood's up but just because it's a bit wet and soggy it doesn't take away from the beauty of this place I would highly recommend it it is also a Devon Wildlife Trust site so it'll be well maintained and you can tell because it is just beautiful well done it's a bit of bog land here now that is habitat Apparently night jars uh, nest here and you can see why it's perfect because there's loads of low-lying shrubs and things and ferns and they're ground dwelling species so well they nest on the ground don't they so there's lots of nooks and crannies for them to hide in I just can't get over how beautiful this place is especially in autumn I have to come back in spring and see what it looks like then as well So even though this is like quite a wild site and it's really gorgeous and kept really well but not overkept, we're seeing lots of signs of making extra space for nature. So we've seen bat boxes and bird boxes. We're yet to see any dormice boxes but there might not be dormice here. So even if you've got a really lovely diverse rich place like this, you can always help nature even more by providing shelter for them. just left the wooded area with the ponds and we've embarked upon a heathland and actually where we are now isn't far at all from where we saw adders in the wild in the summer so it's a bit late in the year for adders at the moment so you're unlikely to see them now unless you're like super lucky but in the summer when it's hot and sunny again um, check out the video in the cards for inspiration of where to find some wild venomous snakes in the UK so pretty much when you go onto any moorland or heathland in Devon especially, but probably the rest of the UK, there is nearly always gorse, which is the plant I'm going to input in the next section. And this plant, Stu actually like introduced me to it, like showed me it for the first time and told me what it's called. But because he's got a Mancunian accent, Northern accent, I thought he said it's called ghost. So I walked around for ages thinking that gorse was called ghost. So 
yeah that's a little story for you especially for Halloween <laughs> what are you guys up to for Halloween let us know are you carving pumpkins are you getting out in nature we want to know what you're up to because I love Halloween so cozy I'm really enjoying about this particular site is just how peaceful it is. There are a few other people like having walks but generally it is so peaceful and quiet and lovely. You can't beat that. A bit of just a bit of alone time away from the rest of the world. Think about things, absorb your week, recharge those batteries. So something cool's happened. So after we did, what's it called, black stock pools. So once we did black stock pools, we were fully intending on driving to another place called Squagmore Reservoir. Turns out they're right next door to each other and we've totally stumbled upon it. And we're just walking down like a sandy path. So any minute now, we're gonna be in a different spot, but they're totally linked. So you can do both in the same, same trip. So yeah, here we are, Squagmore Reservoir. Struggling to find the actual reservoir. We've been walking around for ages, like where is it? Been on Google Maps but there's no like obvious path to get to it. So we're just kind of trying all the avenues we possibly can, but hopefully we'll be at the reservoir soon. There probably is easy access, but we just went off path because Laura took us the wrong way. Oi. So we have found the reservoir, we're just not at it yet. It's down there. So things are looking promising. If in doubt, ask a stranger and they will show you, they will show you the way, hopefully. So we've just had a good sign that we're definitely on the right path. We just saw some ducks flapping wildly in the sky. I love it when ducks fly because it's like, they look like they're really panicking and like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Whereas when you see like a gull or, you know, an actual proper airborne bird, they fly quite gracefully. But ducks are like, we need to get this done now. <laughs> Very entertaining. So turns out that we're incredibly close to Woodbury Common, which is somewhere we intended to go when we actually ended up. Where did we end up? El... El... Well, anyway, it's the same video that we found the adders in. We intended to go to Woodbury and ended up on a, in a, like, on a different heathland. Can't get my words out today. It's been a long week. But yeah, so there's loads of like really beautiful spots all really close together. So it's a nice long day out. So 
So I just spotted this. I've just flipped it over to try and get a proper look at it. And it's obviously, unfortunately, it's dead. But we think it's a male common lizard. So I've just been using Seek to try and work it out, but it, it's having a hard time. But if we flip it over, where is it? I'm trying to, look how bright its underbelly is. It's got a blue, blue chin and a bright yellow belly. So if anyone knows what it is, please comment below. But we'll try and use Seek to try and work out what it is. Babe? So, you finally found the common lizard. <laughs> There's an ongoing joke. I think I've mentioned this in another Nature Diaries, but um, before I started my porpoise research, I was going to do an alternative project, which was um, like transects looking for common lizards on the southwest coast path. But I just wasn't feeling it, you know, I wasn't vibing with that project, so I decided not to do it. And uh, Shu has this running joke that I've never found a common lizard, because I still like, I've seen one once, just in passing. I've never actively really gone looking for them much. But yeah, so <laughs> it's just an ongoing joke. So Stu's always like, finally seen a common lizard, because he assures me that that, that lizard that we just found dead on the floor is a common lizard. So if you didn't know already, we do have reptiles in the UK. We have a variety of snakes and lizards. So if you want to learn more about them, I might be able to wrangle a podcast out of shoe or some kind of educational video or something. So if you want to see something like that or hear a podcast about reptiles, because Stu's a kind of reptile man, he loves alligators and crocodilians and especially UK reptiles, give us a comment, let us know, and we will create it for you. So I'm going to nip this in the bud now because my phone is about to run out of battery. So we had a lovely walk. I really, really recommend the, um, what's it called? Brook, Brook Stock or something. I don't know. You know from the title of this video where it is and we always like link the places. So really recommend that one. And the reservoir was nice. I mean, it's more of a fishing reservoir and we ain't into fishing so but it's a nice little walk and just everywhere kind of woodlandy and pondy and lakey is really beautiful right now because of the autumnal colors so we highly recommend giving that a, a check out if you're in east devon anytime soon and just remember guys to stay safe look after yourselves look after your family and friends and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like because that means that we know that you like it and we'll make more and subscribe so you never miss a video and we'll see you in the next one i don't know where